Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Ball Reef Supply. Welcome to the Reef Teats YouTube channel, where today we're doing a bit of a fish spotlight on who I would arguably say is one of the best sand bed cleanup crew. Now, there's tons of other great options like Nasaria snails or conches. However, my sand has never looked as good since I got the Diamond Watchman Gobi. Now, this little guy is active. He is constantly taking mouthfuls of sand and sifting them through his gills. It's actually really cool to watch. Um, but wherever he goes, there is a pristine pile of sand left behind, which is really cool. Now, overall, he is a super easy fish. He is incredibly peaceful. He seems to get along with everybody in the tank. He does eat mysis, he'll eat pellets. Um, now that being said, I have a six foot tank, tons of sand. It's definitely it's about two years old, so the sand's nice and mature. There's tons of food in it. Now he also goes for mysis or pellets, but if you have a newer tank, you know, or a smaller tank, you definitely want to make sure you're supplementing the food a little bit more just because you might not be getting enough just out of the sand as they are carnivorous fish. Unlike many other sand bed sifters, this guy stays low to the ground and this is huge. Some of the other fish I've had in the past, like Watchman Gobies and different ones, they will take a big mouthful of sand, they go halfway per tank and then they'll start sifting through it, basically dump sand all over your tank. This guy ne is never more than about an inch from the bottom, which means the sand stays on the ground and my corals aren't getting buried, so that's been a huge one. One slight issue so far is initially he decided to make a bit of a burrow under my Ganyaporas, and for that they were starting to get buried under the edge of them. So what I actually did is take a bit of rock rubble and just build it up an inch or two so that he had more of a cave underneath and he wouldn't bury the Ganyas as well. But aside from that, none of my other corals have been buried, which has been a huge win for me. So in general, they recommend about a 30 gallon or larger tank. Um, bigger is better, more sand beds better, obviously. Now, they're very peaceful. However, they could fight with other similar fish. So one per tank, generally unless they're made a pair. Now, we all know there's tons of benefits to aerating your sand bed and not letting that kind of toilet bill build up over time. And I think the diamond gobies are honestly one of the best ways to have a little reef cleaner fish do it for you and you not have to back in the sand all the time. So, so far he's cleaned about, I'm going to say 70% of my tank, and you can definitely see a huge difference between the half that he has cleaned and the chunk that he hasn't. It's night and day, and I'm going to say my sand bed has never looked so good. Now, when I first got him, I was actually a little bit worried because my tank was super cloudy for about a week or two. Um, I think this was just from how much stuff was built up in the sand bed. And after about a week or two, it seems like he cleared out most of it. Most of that stuff got taken out either by him or the filtration and my water's back to crystal clear again, which makes me happy. So overall, if you have a sand bed, I definitely recommend one of these guys as he does a phenomenal job of keeping it white and pristine. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. If you have a diamond goby of your own, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for more future videos.